welcome to the Meadows Investment Forum. It's our pleasure to invite first Talarian, first time to Meadows Investment Forum. With me here is Tyron Doherty. Welcome, Dr. Tyron. Thank you. Pleasure to be here, Chan. Thank you. But Talarian is a medal very, very few people know. Uh, and I was having lunch with a few investors that talked to them about Talarian. They immediately went out buy your stock. I, I don't know what did I say, but I would just tell them, look, it seems to United States is a very, very critical point right now with uh, Talarian because First Solar is using Talarian. You look at the First Solar's plan for the next few years, they're going to use more than 100% of worldwide Talarian. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for having that lunch. You should have more on my behalf. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> uh, second of all, yes, you're absolutely right about Tellurium. And the interesting thing that you say about uh, First Solar is that they actually mentioned our Deer Home project here in, in Canada, which we're going to be drilling this summer, as one of the top four Tellurium prospects in the world back in 2012. So um, they knew about it. And, uh, you know, we're sort of ahead of the curve. Uh, Tellurium is either the eighth or ninth rarest metal in the world. Uh, you know, it's the same... Uh, same as uh, platinum, same scarcity level, and uh, it just happens to come in our in our project up at Deerhorn uh, combined with high grade gold and silver. So um, well, we get the benefits of both the precious metals and the strategic critical metal. So it's it's very good for us, and and we just introduced it last year. The fact that it's also going to be used in uh, lithium batteries, lithium tellurium batteries, which is superior to lithium ion, which we can talk on another day. But yeah, no, we we understand, and we're we're the only company focused on tellurium as of now. Well, excellent. That's what attracted you, you know, you guys to me. And I said, "Wow, this is such a critical metal," and very few people know how to spell it. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, right now, I just the Bloomberg just broke the news last week that the China going to retaliate against United States for the semiconductor. You, you know, yeah. we have been cracking down on the Chinese semiconductor technology. What they're going to do is they're going to ban the solar technology yes. from exporting to United States. So that means the solar in for United States is only for solar, then nothing else. Yes. Only Talarian. <laughs> yeah, and we're the only ones, right? The, the, the in situ deposit, you know, because 90%, 90% of, of Tellurium comes from refining of copper, and 10% comes from in situ mines like ourselves in, in, in Deerhorn and the property in Colorado. So no, we're very well positioned. And because we're the first, that might maybe call ourselves first and only Tellurium, but because we're first Tellurium, People that have interesting pro prospects call us first to say, are you interested? So we're sort of ahead of the curve on what might look good as well. But, you know, I think I've told you, Chan, is that we've had four of our advisory board were with First Solar. And so they are familiar with various projects around the world. So when we get finance and have the, the time to do it, we'll look at some of these other ones. But we're, we're pretty happy with the two that we have now. Oh, excellent. That's an, I heard you have the world we know experts in Tellurian along your advisory board. Yeah, so the, not only from First Soul, the four of them had the two geologists that worked, looked at over hundreds of properties around the world. And then they have their uh, vice president of metallurgy, Dr. Funcho. Um, he's one of the top metallurgists in the world for minor metals. As a matter of fact, he's the one that talked about us 10 years ago at the conference in Cologne, Germany. And then we have their land package fellow, man, that knows all the various options and so on around the world. So we're very, very pleasant to have them, very pleased. And then the other person added, that came and joined our board was the CEO of, uh, of Phoenix Advanced Material, and that's Phoenix with an F, F-E-N-I-X, who are one of the world's leading ultra high purity manufacturers of metals. And he's the one that's working with University of British Columbia on this lithium tellurium battery, which again is far superior to lithium ion. And you know we can't capture it in the, all that's uh, all the benefits of it in this interview, but suffice it to say that the battery is far superior uh, to the lithium ion battery because it's uh, four to ten times more powerful, much easier to charge, uh, lasts longer, and size-wise, you know, lithium a lithium ion battery this big, lithium tellurium battery which is far superior this big. So what does it do for the weights and vehicles and so on and so forth? And the fifth and probably most important feature is that it's a solid state battery, so it cannot catch fire. So as I said to the investors, you know, if uh, if the lithium tellurium is only the same as lithium ion, but one difference is it didn't catch fire, I think that's important to uh, insurance companies, car manufacturers. So we got the best of both worlds. We got the cadmium tellurium solar panel that needs tellurium, and now this up and coming battery, lithium tellurium battery. So we're sitting very, very good. Well, excellent, excellent. Yeah, before we get into your project, can you tell us uh, your background? Uh, sure. Yeah, I've, I've been, I've been uh, in the resource industry since I was a young pup. I uh, got in when I was 25 years old and sold my first company when I was 28, me and a partner. 
And uh, then my second project, I took over a company in 1997, it was called Quinto Mining. It had a $4 million market cap. It was mainly involved in graphite before graphite became sexy. Uh, make a long story short, uh, I was lucky enough to sell it 11 years later for uh, $175 million. So that's not a bad, bad premium for 4 million. But we took paper at a company called Consolidate Thompson Iron Mines. And so we ended up becoming 20, 21% of Consolidate Thompson. And then they sold their company two and a half years later for 4.9 billion. Wow. So our enterprise value ended up being about a billion dollars for the shareholders. So it doesn't happen all the time, but that's how we build companies that we try and take all the unknowns and red flags out of it so that when we eventually get found by people such as yourselves, they can go through and say, okay, this is the real deal. There's not a lot of uh, questions here that they built their property. It's just a matter of telling the audience that, when most people hear our story, even with Quinto, but here they say, there's, if it's true what they're saying, there's no way the stock should be 15 cents or 17. They say, look, all it takes is a, is a prescient mind to figure out where we're sitting at, and you're that prescient mind, so congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I was just very attractive to this uh, special situation, and you know, First Solar used more than 50% worldwide tolerance. So it's, it's just, it's fact. This yeah, is a and, fact. And so. not only that, their, um, their CEO a year ago in an article by S&P Global, they quoted them as that they're using, I think, 500 tons a year themselves of tellurium, and they want to use between 900 to 1,100 tons, which is far more than just the world's supply, just for themselves. So now that they can find out they got competition in the near future from batteries and so on and so forth, uh, it puts us in a great position. And the fact that First Solar knows who we are, because they talked about us 10 years ago, um, it, it's a great. And the property in Colorado used to be theirs. And they always have a question, well, if it's, it's so good, why would they walk away from it? And in and, and mining, you know, probably in any business, sometimes there's easy explanations. And I've been told by the people at First Solar that are on my panel, on my board, is that at an annual general meeting in 2010 or 2011, a couple of very large investors got up and said, you know, we think you're a bunch of hypocrites. You claim to be a green company, but you're involved in the dirty world of mining. So they made a decision they would drop the mining and just buy the tellurium off the market and cost them actually one or two pennies per solar panel, but they could keep their chin up and puff out their chest. So these things happen, and I was fortunate enough for it to laugh at the land in my lap. Oh, excellent, excellent. So can you tell us uh, your, your both of your project in Terrebonne and Colorado within two minutes? Uh, two minutes can be tough, but I'll try. Basically, the, the project at Deerhorn is the one that's the most advanced, and we're going to be drilling that this summer, as we, we will uh, in Colorado. But it's a, it's a polymetallic metal that has so many minerals on it that if I wasn't worried about getting sued by Disney, I would call it Magic Mountain. Because we are up a mountain, and we have this high-grade gold-silver tellurium that's open pitable. I think we average a little over five grams of gold and I think it's 150 grams of silver per ton and, 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 and the rich tellurium. And that goes for um, uh, 2.4 kilometers. And then our geo just walked it in October and they've extended another 1.1 kilometers. So three and a half kilometers for the Americans, it's a little over two miles. And our, we did a preliminary economic assessment in 2018 saying that we had 42% IRR after tax, robust, as I mentioned. And that was based a on- A small portion, very small portion. Oh, a small portion, portion yeah. And, and that was based on only $1,300 gold and $17 silver. So basically gold's a 50% higher. So, and we only drilled down on average 60 meters, 200 feet. You know, and then people say to me, hey, why don't you drill for the jewelry store below, which we think so. I said, because if I drill it and miss it by six inch, people say, what kind of an idiot would take that money and drill low and miss whether all he had to do was follow what was already there. So. Uh, we have great situations, the metallurgy we've done. Uh, so, and then we've just come across the copper porphyry side of the mountain that, that looks very, very exciting indeed, which might be worth more than everything. So we're very fortunate. You know, we have a low overhead. I don't have a downtown office. And that allows me to spend some money on projects like in, in Colorado. It, the, the grades in Colorado are phenomenal. We're considered a, a high grade property in, in Canada. You know, I think our highest grades were 800 to 900 grams per ton of, of tellurium, but we averaged about 160 grams per ton of tellurium. The one in Colorado, the highest grade was 33,000. Wow. Right? And it had several in the 10 to 15,000 range and probably averages 800, 900. It's a different beast and uh, we're very excited. It comes with high grade gold. So, you know, uh, we've kept quiet, you know, uh, under the radar, so we don't need competition out there looking at tellurium, but we're, we're very pleased with what we've done and I've got a, a great advisory board. And so I think uh, it reminds me of the Quinto days just before it took off. Is it fine, someone finally recognized who we were? But we've, you know, we've taken away all the red flags and say, 
here we go. And with the push from Canadian and American and U.S. governments on critical metals, they're starting to find out who we are as well. So we're very lucky. Okay, great. Thank you. Looks very exciting. Can you tell us your website? Just uh, yeah, it's, it's firsttellurium dot com. Tellurium is spelled T E L L U R I U M. Okay, a lot of people will learn how to spell this, man. Hopefully, yes. Okay, welcome. Thank you.